Hello Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. This is Delilah Rose and this is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for October 5th to October 11th. Please take this time to like, share, and subscribe. My website information is on screen, uh, which has my blog, um, how to get to me for a private reading, and all that good stuff. We start with number 22. Angel number. Listen to your intuition. We have wisdom. Listen to your intuition. And disseminate, right? 10 is the completion number. So that means you're completing a, uh, a cycle. Um, I'm sorry, discernment. You're completing a cycle, right? You want to discern what lesson or you want to know or, 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 or think about what lesson you learn completing this cycle that you were in. I'm going to use my Moonology card for another message. Two powerful numbers here. Let's see. You're very close to achieving your goal through wisdom, through intuition, through discernment. Let's get into this read. I'm going to pull three piles, subconscious, conscious advice from spirit. I'm going to clarify those, and then I'm going to draw more cards for further clarification. Sorry, just spending the cards, and let's get into this read. I am using, I forget the name of this deck. If you want to know the name of this deck, drop a comment and I will get that information to you. If I remember, I'll put it in the description. This was actually a gift from someone who sent it to like, uh, uh, from my wish list. We have the Page of Cups here in the subconscious. Are well, you thinking about growth, emotional growth? I like that. The Hierophant in our conscious mind. The Four of Wands. You need to discern and you need to have wisdom in your relationship because right now this is a definite relationship reading. Two cards here came out. The Four of Cups clarifying. I love this. The Four of Cups clarifying this Page of Cups. This Two of Wands, choices to be made, clarifying this Hierophant. The Moon card, clarifying this Four of Wands. So let's get into this read because this is actually a very powerful, positive relationship read. Um, so subconsciously, Scorpio, you're trying to grow. Like, you know that you have a little bit of emotional immaturity going on, um, and you know that you just need to be on a better emotional journey because it's affecting your relationships in a negative way. I love this, that you're working on that. We have this Four of Cups here. Um, the, four, the Four of Cups, Sorry, my screen went blank. We have this Four of Cups here. So the Four of Cups speaks of growth. You're trying to grow. Um, and I love that this came out with this uh, page, of, page of Cups. You've come to realize that sometimes you need to just pick up and start again with this Six of Swords here. Like whatever it was is not working. You recognize that and you're, you're willing to just pick up and start over. Not necessarily over in a new relationship, but over emotionally. And I feel like you've talked to your partner about that. Like, listen, whatever we're doing here is not working. And um, we need to we need to get on the same page here. Consciously with this Hierophant card, you're seeking help. Like you're either getting help from a religious leader, you're getting help from a psychiatrist or um, psychologist you're reading books, you are trying to figure it out and figure yourself out because the relationship you're in is worth saving. And you know that. You know you want to take things to the next level. You want to grow with this person. 
this is clarified by the two of wands right so the two of wands is is making a choice you know it could also mean travel plans uh, but I don't necessarily think it, it thinks think it means that in this case I think it's you making a change you wanting to see the results from you know from your hard work that you are trying to do my thing is to have patience because you're you know since this card came out along with this hierophant don't expect change overnight and don't beat yourself up if you backslide a little bit that's normal have patience with yourself the advice from spirit is to keep going forward you're going to make that ultimate commitment this could end in marriage this could end in moving together you know making the choice to get help to fix things is going to bear the ultimate fruit and a bigger commitment with your partner the moon card here speaks of a balance right a lot of people don't talk about the moon card in balance but it is uh, normally it has a uh, well here it has two animals but it's the light and the dark coming together right in truth now it's things coming out of the dark into the light and these are the things you're working on your emotional self you've brought out those demons into the light and you're trying to fix things for yourself and for your partnership here you've used your intuition here too because you know what you were doing wasn't working you listened to that little voice inside that said you know what it's time for a change i'm ready for a change and yeah i want to be with this person here i love this i love all of this here is the offer right just you know just the beginning so pentacles means earthly things so things are coming together for you so there's going to be a new job or new money new income because you put the work in in your personal life it's going to happen into your in your professional life it can't help but to seep in so this is a new start a new beginning for you period in terms of renewing your relationship or going into a new relationship fixing the drama of the past and you're not bringing that with you forward here we have the page of swords i mean she's going after what she wants she's not sitting back and waiting for things to happen you know it's curiosity is going it's going forward The hangman clarifying the advice from spirit is to look at things from a different perspective. Just continue doing what you're doing because you're doing it. You're literally doing that already. So this is just reiterating the fact that you did the right thing. You looked at it from a different perspective. You're conquering your anxieties. You're conquering, you know, your insecurities here and you're moving forward Scorpio this is a wonderful reading for you I mean I love it all I don't think you need a new card but I am going to draw one anyway so I'm going to use the magic of you oracle cards here just to see what other advice we have from spirit and then we'll end this reading but this is positive so very very positive you literally are holding all the cards set personal boundaries protection this goes well with this because in healing right and healing from the past you set your own boundaries boundaries of what you're no longer going to do what you're no longer going to bring into your relationship excuse me and possible boundaries of what you're not going to accept from anyone but i have a feeling this is you protecting yourself by setting those boundaries of you know what I'm not gonna cross these lines anymore I'm going to bring it all back in and be successful in my relationship and in my business life because here's the offer you're gonna you, all this work is gonna drip into your your work life so I love this um, this is for Scorpio for October 5th to October 11th and thank you so much